Mental Health Tonight, there's a new study that's raising concerns about how your screen time, yours, could be impacting your children's mental health. So here to break it down is Dr. Erica Lee, a child psychologist at Boston Children's Hospital. Always good to see you, Dr. Lee. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Oh, we always appreciate you. So first things first, a lot of the survey is focused on something called technoference. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. You can correct me, and then you can tell us what it means. Oh, that's how I'm pronouncing it, so I hope we're both okay, correct. Okay, good, we're doing uh, it together. Yes, so technoference is a term to describe what happens when your interactions and communications with other people are regularly interrupted because of your technology use. And they're specifically talking about parental technoference, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's when parents' screen use impacts their relationships with family members. Um, and some studies have found that in families where caregivers use their cell phones more frequently, their kids tend to have more problems with their mood, with their worry, with their behavior, and it also leads to more parent-child conflict. It makes sense. It does. Let's talk a little bit more about this study, though, because how did researchers say this actually harmed children? Yeah, so it's a pretty big study, but it is preliminary, right? So the researchers are looking at about 1,300 kids every year from ages 9 to 11 and their mothers. And what they were asking the kids is, how much do you think that your mother's screen use gets in the way of your interactions with them? And what they actually found is that when those kids were more anxious, they tended to say that their mothers were more distracted by screens. And when they said that their mothers were more distracted by screens, these kids later on tended to have more difficulty with their attention and their hyperactivity. So really big picture, there's a lot of nuance here, but what these findings say is we need more research. We need to understand why are kids, when, or why are parents, when their kids are more anxious, more likely to use screens? And why is it when parents use more screens, are their kids likely to have later problems with attention and their activity levels? Well, it, it makes so much sense. Yeah. I mean, if they're not getting your attention, right, fully, then these are kids who aren't fully developed yet mentally, and they can feel that, and they, they don't understand what it is, except I, this is your job, not my job to say that, but, but I'm just saying you can see yeah. it. You can see how this happens. So is it as simple if you're a parent as just putting your phone down if you see that your child is starting to get anxious? Yeah, it's not quite so simple, although I wish it was. And we all struggle with phones now because phones are everything, right? They're computers, they're cameras, they're internet devices, they're everything. But really what I say to parents is, you know, they're often asking me, well, how do I set limits on my kids' screen time? Or what's going to happen if my kids are always on the internet or playing video games? And the same kind of thought process applies to parents, right? So you want to be thinking how often, when, and for what purpose are you using screens? With kids, we often talk about balance, right? We don't, we don't want to, we can't completely eliminate or want to eliminate screen time, but we don't want it to take the place of other other important activities like sleep, like meals, like face-to-face -face interaction. So parents try to be mindful. If you're using your phone a lot, is it getting in the way? Are you modeling for your kids healthy technology habits that you're asking them to follow? Dr. Erica Lee, it is. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.